It's funny, you know, every fight you feel like this has been the best preparation and, and that's probably what you say any time you ask that question, but um, I feel like this is probably the first time in, in 17 years of training or fighting that I've really peaked properly for a fight. Um, working with Johnny Lewis is just unbelievable and, um, you know, he can he can tell by the, the sound of my voice on the phone just exactly where I'm at, you know, um, a week out from a fight. So um, we've had one fight together already, so we both know how each other works. We had a knockout in Germany, and it was probably one of my worst performances in my career so far. So um, um, <clears throat> I'm really excited about uh, Friday night, more so because of, uh, you know, what Johnny and I have been working on in the gym, and I feel like for the, like I said, for the first time in a long time, I, I, I'm making improvements and it's, it's going to be really interesting to see how those improvements play out. I think I, um, every fight is different, every opponent's different, every preparation is different. Um, so yeah, you know, um, you have to attack each, each preparation with the, the prior knowledge of, of, you know, what your body's capable of doing and, and you know, where your envelope uh, can be pushed and, and you know, where, where you begin and where you finish. So, um, you know, every fight's different, every opponent's different, every preparation is different. Um, and like I said before, every fighter tends to think that this preparation has been my best, but um, I just know there's, um, there's certain characteristics this time around that, that are completely different to what I've um, felt ever before. Uh, I really don't know myself right now. Um, you know, you can only get so fit, fit enough to do 12 rounds, and I'm fit enough to do 12 rounds, but it's more the sharpness level and, and the work rate, the intensity, and the fact that I can keep that intensity for such a... Um, a uh, long period of time, that's what's really interesting. Having a really durable opponent standing in front of me and, and you know, um, somebody who's all heart and ready to go and, and uh, somebody who I'm going to be able to practice. Everything that Johnny and I have been working on in the gym and, and um, you know, I don't make predictions on fights. I used to when I was younger, but now I just get in there, I do my thing and, and you know, um, the result is the result, so uh, I'm just really excited about being able to get in there and do under a high pressure situation some of the things that we, I know have been working in the gym. Um, to do them in a fight is a completely different uh, uh, scenario, so it's going to be uh, exciting for me to be able to get in there and, and see how these things play out. You know, you don't learn a whole lot from walking in there and just knocking guys out in one round, you know, you feel like you did everything right, and of course you do, you know, when you get in there and you knock a guy out in, in early rounds. But you, there's, there's not a whole lot of um, uh, gold to be pu pulled out of those situations. There's not a whole lot to be learnt out of, you know, quick knockouts. So um, I'm looking to be able to get at least six rounds under my belt. That, that would be ideal. If the fight finishes earlier, so be it. Um, but we're looking for, you know, as much as this is a warm-up fight, I hate calling fights warm-up. Or, or you know lead-ins or anything like that. Every fight is as hard as the last one, and and this to me is a world title fight because that's what it means for me. You know um, I have to win this fight to 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 um, solid consolidate the the uh, opportunity for the world title. Uh, we've already signed for it. We're in position to have it. So if I take this fight lightly, um, there's a lot to be jeopardised. So um, it's a very very important fight to me. So far, where we're at, um, the latest mail on this is <laughs> uh, Thomas Adamak basically has to come to terms or agree on terms uh, for the fight, otherwise they're going to strip him. And that's exciting for me because, one, I'll get the opportunity to fight for the Light Heavyweight Championship again and, and be able to um, um, you know, become Light Heavyweight Champion of the world. It'd be great to be in there and, and, and get that loss back with, with Thomas, but it just doesn't seem like he's too interested in getting in the ring with Paul Briggs. Otherwise, he would have. We've had two um, uh, dates on American TV as the main event. You just don't come by those sorts of fights. Um, so why he hasn't signed, who knows? I'm not going to stand here and call him, you know, a chicken or anything like that. He's, you know, he's a world champion and he's a fighter. So um, I think it just comes down to maybe uh, uh, he's being a little greedy and that sometimes can come back and bite you in the butt. So um, next in line would be uh, Bernard Hopkins if um, if Thomas doesn't sign. But um. You know, all I'm focusing on right now is um, Jose Clavero and, and uh, getting past him and getting past him in style. All I saw was the highlights. I've, I've got the video tape actually, but back in my hotel room, which um, I haven't I haven't viewed yet. But what I saw, just um, you know, it's exactly like uh, it, it was exactly it played out exactly like I said um, the, the the sort of fighter that Tava really is, and and under high pressure situations, Tava's not a fighter. He loves everything that comes with being a fighter, but um, he doesn't like biting down and going to war. And when he's in there with a real war horse, it, 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 it's, 
he was found out. So, um, you know, I've been I've been proclaiming this for a long time in the states, and there's a few people that agree with me, and now there's probably a whole lot more that do. I don't think Tava really rates in the in the in the equation anymore, and I don't think he'll really fight again. Like I said, he's been found out, and um, the bubbles burst. You know, he beat a, a pass at Roy Jones Jr. and um, you know when the bubble had burst with Roy, it was just it was all down that hill for him. So I don't I don't really think that anything that Tava's done is um, you know holds any great claim to um, uh, you know glory. So um, I, I really don't think he rates in the equation. Right now, it's um, whoever else is in line, and I don't really care who it is. I just want that green belt. Bernard Hopkins, he's rated number two. He's the next man in line, but whether or not he wants to hang around and become a legitimate light heavyweight champion, and what I mean by that is, is you know, hold one of the legitimate belts, um, is is uh, yet to be seen. So it'd be a great opportunity for me to be able to fight, you know, um, uh, Hopkins. Not just in the fact that it's you know Bernard Hopkins, but also in the fact that it'd be a, a Don King versus uh, Ossie De La Hoya per speed, which would be very lucrative. This is boxing and we're both human beings. Anyone with two arms and a heartbeat can win a fight. So in saying that, uh, where I'm at right now in my career, I, I feel like I've, I've been reborn and, and um, you know, I've pulled uh, a, a lot of amazing experience out of my loss to Thomas Adam. It was the first loss I've had in eight years and um, it was a blessing to me because there's just so much that I've reassessed and I've, I've don't just have that fire reignited within me, it's a, it's a burning furnace. So, um, um, you know, it, it's, it's exciting uh, to be getting in there Friday night and, and tearing him apart. Yeah, some uh, enlightening comments there from Paul Briggs, certainly uh, eyeing off that uh, contest just around the corner, we hope, against maybe Thomas Adamek. Who knows? It could well be, as he just points out there, Tarver or, well, what a fight that would be against Bernard Hopkins. Although, somehow I think that one there is a long shot. That just about takes us away from the show. Don't forget, of course, tomorrow night, uh, apart from the Briggs fight, uh, we've got an excellent undercard. Skinny Hussain will be featured there. There's still a few tickets left, but I wouldn't leave it too late. Uh, rush on in, uh, or at least get on the phone and contact Ticketmaster anytime soon. We'll see you out at the fights tomorrow night at the Sleeman Sports Centre. Until then, have a great night. Hi, I'm Paul Briggs, and I'll see you tomorrow night at the Sleeman Sports Complex, where I take on Jose Clavero for another step towards the Light Heavyweight Championship of the World.